China has the world's longest high-speed rail network at 30,000 kilometers. With a bullet train ticket, you can go far, fast in epic China. Book online, pick up the ticket at the railway station and you're off. The ride is speedy, cushy, safe and on the dot. Near Suzhou is a little water town. Wuzhen is like a Chinese Venice. With stone bridges over canals and poetic little corners and indigo banners at a dye workshop for a glimpse of old China. Let's explore! Qinan is an archaic city of springs and it's also very hip. In Chui Shuiting Street, by a canal fed by natural springs, you can enjoy public art. You can sip Chinese tea at a tea house or linger in a cat cafe favoured by artsy millennials. In Guanholi, go for a walking feast under the night sky with a young Chinese. Like them, grab fiery grilled squid or do you fancy outsized Peking duck? Go up the Thousand Buddha Mountain by cable car. Spot the giant Buddha. There's a giant lock and chain to lock in wealth. And catch a panorama of the mega city below. Go down the mountain the fun way, whoosh down a luge. Was so cool. This is the oldest section of the Great Wall. What remains are piles of stones that don't look remarkable. But these stones tell the story of China, of its wars and conflicts over 2,600 years. Mukden is the last Manchu palace complex in the world. It mirrors the Great Forbidden City in Beijing. Immerse yourself in the lifestyle of the Manchu emperors. Check out the last Emperor Puyi's collection of Western timepieces. Living in China's northeast is the Korean minority. In Sita Street, a market sells anything from kimchi to ginseng. Try local flavors like savory fish cake soup. At night, sing along to the tune of Ari Rang with North Korean waitresses who double up as performers in a unique restaurant, the Ping Ran Kwan. Dandong is a Chinese city nearest North Korea. At some point, the two countries are just one step apart. If you're curious, take a scenic river cruise and peer into the lonely hermit kingdom. On the cruise, we spy North Koreans on a boat in a pastoral landscape. There's also a cigarette factory. This is the closest we can get to North Korea without a visa. In town, there's a broken bridge that ends halfway in the Yalu River because it was bombed by the Americans in 1950. Alongside is a newer bridge where trains between the two countries run. Only the Chinese side of the broken bridge remains. It is now a viewing platform to look into North Korea. The broken bridge is poignant. Koreans gaze at the North with longing for the motherland to be reunited. The Yalu River divides North Korea, which looks frozen in time and a China city that is dynamic. Much like the cool China we have encountered throughout this high-speed rail journey. <laughs>